Let's talk about ESPN's Malika Andrews, who sparks major controversy during the NBA draft. All right, and here's the headline. I saw the start of the article. I was like, good Lord, what she done did to y'all people's out chill. It says, when it comes to bringing up a player's negatives during an exciting time in their life, nobody can do it better than Malika Andrews. I said, ooh, you got me. Like Chappelle, ooh, what is that? And I had to read further. Let's talk through this one right now. So leading up to the NBA draft, many questioned whether ESPN would address the elephant in the room. Like, I mean, if it's an elephant in the room, shouldn't you talk about it? Like, who are you going to try and get some room ar around it? Like, yeah, you're supposed to talk about the damn elephant in the room. That's a crazy statement in itself. And acknowledge the controversy surrounding Alabama forward Brandon Miller, whose role in the murder investigation dominated the news cycle for weeks on end. Y'all remember that? We talked through that on this show as well. Well, he was cleared of wrongdoing and Miller was not charged with any crime. We also talked about that on this show as well, where the accusation is always gonna be louder than the apology. Well, his proximity to his teammate Darius Miles on the night Jamia Jonay Harris was fatally shot and the alleged murder weapon was belonging to Miles was retrieved from Miller's car hours earlier. Y'all caught all that. Raised some questions, casting a dark cloud over Alabama's March Madness run. So uh, he got drafted second overall, Charlotte Hornets. Um, they were concerned about it, of course, but also they're like, well, he wasn't charged with anything and the dude is a top talent. Let's go out there and get him, right? So then everyone was kind of looking who's going to cover it, how they're going to cover it, and ESPN was doing the draft. So that person that's covered it was Malika Andrews who mentioned the scandal in passing during the broadcast. So Andrews will later become the subject of a lot of criticism online. That's how the game goes. With many viewers feeling it was unnecessary to pick up and pick at that scab, rehashing a painful incident from Miller's past that, frankly, by all accounts, wasn't his fault. Oh, I can see somebody typing right now. Yeah, Wiley, let's talk through this one right now. All right, so the counter argument, let's give the other side, that's what we do on this show, we discuss things, would be that Andrews, credentialed reporter, esteemed journalist, had a responsibility to broach the subject in at least some capacity, right? Also not fair to single her out when ABC devoted as much coverage to it, presenting a graphic with a detailed explanation from Kevin Nagandi, the homie up there as well, right? So it should be noted that Nagandi comments were different than Andrew's comments, because Andrew's made her comments during the pre-draft show and not during the actual event. The detail may seem trivial, though it's an important distinction with Andrew's careful not to spoil Miller's moment because a lot of the comments a lot of you people who were hating on her said she spoiled his moment Well, she got there before y'all got there and said look I got to do my duty and let you know what you guys are going to watch in fullness So I just want to know why y'all not giving Malika an inch no more now. Let me say this I know when she went at Ime Adoka even I was like come on now Calm down, calm down. Like made this way grander of an issue than just covering Ime Adoka. So maybe y'all got fatigued and she got all three strikes out the way on that one pitch, right? Ime Adoka, strike, 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 you're out. Like, I don't want to hear nothing else from Malika Andrews in that space. Is that where you guys are with her? Because I don't know what else. You got to let me know. Holla at your boy. Tell me in the comments what she did to go there and what she did to get here. Here's the thing. When she gets her rundown and she has to talk about Brandon Miller, y'all would feel crazy if she didn't bring up the incident, right? Some of you would. Some faction out there would be like, how you gonna bring that up and bring him up and not bring this up, right? So where do you stand? Like, could she win either way in this situation? I mean, I get the right to criticize anybody in the way they do it. You're like, I don't like it. I don't like how she talk. I don't like how she act. I get all of that. But the fact that she actually spoke through a process that the number two overall pick just went through and it was off the court and it was headline news, y'all can't cut her no slack on that one? I would in that situation. So. Imagine if she did sweep it under the rug, just kept on pushing. Like Brandon Miller, Alabama beast, long wingspan, number two overall pick, much respect to him, seems like an amazing kid, blah, blah, blah. 
And then I, I know y'all, y'all be having these thought bubbles. Bloop, 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 bloop. Hey, is that, the, is that the same, Brandon? And then bam, right? So which way should she have played it? Since y'all got the remote control, since y'all the ones sitting back like, Man, or y'all just think she a hater. It, it just come out and say it. Look, I think she a hater, and since she a hater, she went out there and did something that wasn't even hateful. But since I think she a hater, I hate it. You can say that all day. Write that in the comments. That was eloquent, I know. But let's just see why everybody got an issue with Malika Andrews. So I'm learning on this one. I look forward to reading your responses.